Hello, this is Diane Kachilis for Greek Food TV. We're doing a recipe today that comes from the vast repertoire of Greek stews, one pot dishes, a beef stew with, uh, with onions, garlic, olives, and a little bit of orange. It's great for a winter's day. Let's take a look at what's in our stew. Beef, of course, cut into big pieces, finely chopped onion, garlic, tomato, some classic Greek herbs, oregano, allspice, bay leaf, whole vegetables, carrots and celery just for flavor, extra virgin Greek olive oil, a little bit of white wine so the sauce doesn't darken, and at the very end are green olives. We've got our pot on the stove. I've, I've got it over a medium flame, heating it so that it's hot when I pour the olive oil in. Pour a little olive oil. We're going to place the meat carefully in the hot oil. Make sure to use tongs. Then stir to brown it on all sides. Add the salt once the meat is browned. Next, add our finely chopped red onion to the pot. We're going to stir in our garlic, two fairly large cloves, and we just want to stir it around for a minute. We don't want to burn the garlic. Next, we're going to add a little bit of white wine. We extinguish it with white wine, as the Greeks say. Alcohol steams off. We want to pour in the tomatoes. Just going to add a little bit of water, not too much, at room temperature. A nice big piece of orange zest. Bay leaf. Oregano. Mm, I can smell the orange. A few allspice berries and a little freshly ground black pepper. So we're just adding our carrots and our celery whole, just for flavor. A little bit of water, not too much. To come about two thirds of the way up the contents of the pot. This will cook down and become very thick at the end. We're gonna add our olives, about mm, 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes before the food is ready to come off the stove. Mix them in. Cover the pot again. Let's taste it. Mmm. Okay, we're almost ready to serve it. We're gonna turn off the heat, let it sit for a few minutes, and then ready to eat. A few big chunks of meat are just plenty for a good sized serving portion. We want to make sure we get some olives in there too. And some sauce, of course, which is nice and thick now. Mmm, that looks so good. And I'm going to do something just for garnish purposes. I'm going to grate a little bit of orange around the plate. looks pretty and I'm gonna add a tiny tiny drop of raw olive oil a little bit of black pepper and we're ready let's taste it now oh, that looks really good mmm well the obvious question is what do you serve beef stew and olives with mashed potatoes are great Pasta goes really well, rice, or what my Greek grandmother used to do, Greek fried potatoes in olive oil, of course.